moving forward. Uh huh. playing nocturnal visit i looked over on this game and it's another horror game you know because you know october is here and you know it's the month of scary stuff it's halloween well in 31 days but um yeah nocturnal visit well nocturnal means like awake at night or something happening at night so we're just gonna see what it is i'm guessing we're visiting uh a place at night. Am I ready to leave? I hope I am. Okay, this is me. When the crosshair turns red, you can interact by pressing E. Okay. So yeah, I'm guessing we're awake at night. We're visiting some type of place. Alright, um, I have to clean my room. Shouldn't we start doing that? This room is a mess. Like, we got newspapers on the floor. This is probably a missing person. We got socks everywhere, underwear, uh, stained pants. Oh! Ew! Yeah, that's a that's a problem. Okay, I like the area though. You know, we got a TV, we got a laptop, light on. I should check my laptop before I go. Okay. Ooh, this is nice. Looks like an actual web browser. Alright, viral horror urban exploration. Spookiest haunted house. This is no normal house. Its backstory even helps to add to the spookiness. Built in the 60s, this house was home for several serial killers. Nowadays, all that's left is the remains of the lives that were taken in this place. But why is it still a mystery? Numerous reports of disappearances have been made after some people had visited this house. We do not recommend to explore this house by any means. It's not safe and you might not return from it. Yeah, um... I hope I don't go there. This is probably what we're doing, but, you know, all we can do is hope. Alright. Alright, we're up at the nocturnal hours. <laughs> Alright. Drive. Good ending. Hold on, what? Alright, well, thanks for watching the video. You know, uh, I appreciate it. Alright, I guess. I'm. I'm like, I don't even know what to say. Uh, I'm guessing we actually have to go to the house. It didn't. It didn't even give me an option. Like, oh, I see a car in front of me. I'm guessing we we just went outside. We're gonna get in the car. We're gonna drive somewhere. What do I gotta do? Just a closet. Okay, nothing special. More stuff in here. Alright, now we go to the laptop. No, we have to go to the door to activate the laptop. Yeah. Okay. We're out. <sighs> to the house we go. At In the nocturnal hours. Alright, so it's not over there. It's not there. Press F to turn on your flashlight. Okay. What do we got here? Through the front door we go. It's locked, I'll look for another way. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Window, garage, nothing here. Yeah, I hope I don't get chased by something. That's like something I don't do well with. I always freak out when I'm getting chased by something. Bro, you know how many horror games I've played? I can't be scared anymore. I've been scared so many times, I've been jump scared so many times, I can't, I'm like immune now. I mean, it must be fun riding that bike. <laughs> like, I'm immune at this point. You know, I'll get, you know, I'll, I'll jump back a little bit. 
and feel all the tingliness inside me, but that's pretty much it. Door heads to the basement. It's over here. I don't know what that is, but we got a laundry room, a toilet. Yo, I hope these sounds don't like bring something out to me. Even though I'm not scared, but you know, I remember playing this one game. It was a game by Puppet Combo. I recorded it. It was um, it was like a chainsaw guy thing. I don't know what it is, but you know, I'm gonna put it up here, over there. And uh, that game was so loud, and I ended up realizing that the reason I kept getting caught, or like the guy found me, was because I was sprinting, and he heard my footsteps. Flashback. End of flashback. And I don't know, I don't know if anybody remembers, but I got scared so hard, I took my headphones off. That's how bad that jump scare was. Like if you didn't go, if you didn't watch that, you should. I was back in my prime days, you know. I was new to um to horror stuff. But yeah, I don't know if that's uh that's what's happening in this game. Whose footsteps are those? I'm gonna find out right now. Close that door. I don't want to get killed by anything. Oh! Nah, just move forward. Move forward. We're not getting scared. What's this? TV don't work. Uh, a telephone thing. Alright. Just keep moving forward. That's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta do in life. Close that behind me. We're not taking any chances. Just a bed, a light. You see how I'm opening these things? Like, I'm a master now. Alright, so we got the key for the garage door. That's creepy with the light off. Okay, so the garage... Oh, that was in this room. You know what? Investigating. Investigating. What is this? Basement key obtained. Moving forward. Uh-huh. What is this? Am I in the basement? No, I'm not. Moving forward. Moving forward. Update 1. 1 to 1.43 a.m. The house just seems abandoned overall and nothing has happened. Update 2 to 1.51 a.m. About 10 minutes in and I'm starting to feel a bit overwhelmed. I really don't like the environment in this place. I've heard several weird noises and I feel like I'm being watched. Update 3, 2.02 a.m. Getting in this... We're just gonna let that ring. Getting in this place was a complete mistake. Something's definitely stalking me but I can't see it. Update 4, 2.05 a.m. The door is locked and I got no way of getting out. I'm screwed. Update 5, something is coming to the basement. The phone from upstairs is ringing. Now we got the power stuff here. Flashlight. Somebody really dropped their phone. And they got whacked in the back of the head. Alright. Just move forward. Close this door. Which room is that? It sounds like it's this room. No, it's oh, it's in the attic. I remember, I remember. Yes. All right. Here it is. Wait, it's not that one. I 
I thought it was this one. Alright, it's in some room. Oh, I didn't even realize this. Something's, something's moving towards me. I, I'm not looking back. Did the back door just open? I don't know. Was it the back door? That's it. Was that door right? Yeah. Well, 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 there's Nocturnal Visit. Um, it's a really short game. What was that, like 10 minutes? 13 minutes, I think. Interesting game. You know, a little short horror game. Um, I liked it, pretty much. I didn't like the first ending. But I don't know what ending was that. I don't know how many endings there are. But, you know, at least we got through the game and almost ended the video because... I finished the game in world record, which is like two minutes. But thank you for watching Nocturnal Visit. Hope you enjoyed my experience. See you guys in the next video.